blessings and good fortune. It's Dazzle Daniels. And today we're going to talk about NFTs and actually how they can be a tool that can help protect music artists. Say what? So I get this question a lot. What is the NFT? So an NFT is a non-fungible token. And so they're digital pieces of content. So it can be music, it can be pictures, um, short videos, um, but they're on the blockchain and they are linked to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay? So what it is basically is like a digital certificate of authenticity. It means it can't be altered and it can't be broken up, like divided, right, right. And I mean, NFTs are the newest things since shoestrings. You have all kinds of things popping up right now in this arena. Recently, we had an NFT sell for over $60 million. <laughs> but seriously, there was an NFT that sold for over $60 million. And so now, of course, everybody would like to have their own um, NFT. You got the Kings of Leon put out an NFT and I think you got like a yeah you got a vinyl album and front row seats to the future concerts with their NFT um you got Post Malone working on some NFT stuff you got Tory Lanez who's um released his unreleased music um and turned it into an NFT so why are NFTs so important when it comes to the music industry Drum roll, please. <laughs> Masters. A lot of artists make music, but they don't own the music that they make, right? They're not reading the fine print or they're hurrying up to sign a deal just to get the upfront money, which you eventually have to pay back. Okay. Okay. So that is actually the most things. Um, that is important when it comes to music is being able to own your masters. And a lot of artists just quite frankly don't. So they don't own their music. They're literally singing uh, someone else's property. So masters are like your original, um, your original form of your music. Just so like if you were tokenizing or turning your music into an NFT, it'd be your original NFT, right? Right. Well, look what's going on. Let's just look at some things like what's going on. Right now, you got Anita Baker, who's fighting to get her master's back. That is some sad stuff, right? Right. Um, there have been this, this issue with tons of artists, and that is why NFTs can actually help prevent this. Because it's literally digitizing your music, and it, it, you're, that's where the master's is. It comes from turning it in into an NFT. And every single time that it's sold, guess what? Lifetime royalties. Yeah, lifetime royalties. When you turn your music into an NFT. So that's why um, we're actually going to be teaching a master class to show you how to create your own NFTs, just one of the many reasons and benefits. But imagine not having to go through any of this and it doesn't require any permission or any legal battles with any music industry. You can release your music and instantly own your masters because you have a digital certificate of authenticity and every single time that your music is resold. And there are even ways that every time it's streamed that you could be getting compensated for life. So if you were thinking about NFTs uh, <laughs> and you're a music artist, you definitely need to be coming to this class. I will see you guys there. Blessings, good fortune. May the profits forever be in your favor. Till next time.